Yo, what's going on, Hope Society and future Hope Society members? Yeah, I'm already casting you guys. What's going on? It's your boy, it's your king, Mr. Hope, Xavier Robinson. What's going on with you guys out there? I hope that you guys are already having some hope-filled days. I hope that you are safe. I hope that you have been doing the things that have been necessary for you to actually stay in alignment with where it is you're going. And where you're going, I'm going to give you the secret already. You're headed towards overflow and abundance. And that's where all your hopes, your dreams, and your design and destined realities is rooted. It's rooted in overflow and abundance. Oh, Mr. Hope, how do we get there? I'm glad you asked because the fact that you're tuning in to Mr. Hope, Imagine Hope Society, you are already in alignment with all the hopes and dreams that you're hoping for. We just have to get one thing in order. And that's why you're here. And it's one thing. It's not easy. It's not hard. Guess what? It's consistency. So today, I want to take you guys on this journey. And this journey that we're going to be on is Ants into Butterflies, which coincidentally happens to be the name of my book that's out. But we'll talk about that in a second as well. But we're going to be actually transforming today from Ants into Butterflies. And I want to invite you guys onto this journey of where we're going to actually transform ourselves from where it is that we are to where it is that we desire to be. So you guys are already saying, Mr. Ho, wait, wait, ants do not turn to butterflies. Exactly. Ants do not biologically turn to butterflies, but that's okay because it's not where we start, but it's how and where we finish. So I want to invite you guys on this journey that it's not where we start, but it's how and where we finish. I want you guys to understand that each and every day, the law of polarity says there's a left, there's a right, there's an up, there's a down, there's a forward, there's a back, that each and every day, when I close my eyes, when you close your eyes, that all my actions today either help me work towards or against my hopes and dreams. Everything that I did today was either something that moved me towards the overflow or kept me stagnant into my current reality. So when we think about life being that simple, I want to invite you guys on this journey today because we're going to be doing something today called finding our successful selves. We're going to be defining that version of ourselves that can win in the face of adversity. That means when everything is saying no, when everybody is saying no, when the situation says that we can't win, that version of you is already positioned to not only win, but do it in the overflow and abundance. And that same version of you is also ready for prosperity. Because even in the face of prosperity, you continue to soar higher and higher. So I want to help you define that version today. Whether it be you want to be a dancer or a doctor or whatever it is that we desire to be, we can find this consistency. And what, that's exactly what it is. It's consistency. It's not hard work that we have to do. So first and foremost, uh, I want you guys to understand that why I am Mr. Hope. It's because I believe that we have lost um, our true trust, our true belief, and our capabilities as a people, as a society, and as a community. I believe that we have lost our belief in what we can actually create. I believe that we have lost in our beliefs and uh, the power and the energies that we possess individually. And then as we can come together, I believe that we don't believe in what we have already inside of us. And I want to help restore that hope, not just in ourselves, but within our families, in our communities, to let people know that it's not hard work that we have to do it's consistency so a man believeth so a man thinketh but so a man becomes habitual in the things that he does does his reality reflect it which means that whatever my habits are today yesterday and the day before is the subject or is the enabling factor that it has to, that has produced my reality for today so I want to encourage you guys into for you guys to begin to take on this mindset of consistency, making life very simple. But we're gonna we're gonna get in that journey today. I'm not gonna give you guys everything just right now. But the first thing I want to take you guys on, so we can preset this mindset, so you guys can actually begin to grab everything, is I'm gonna give you guys the blueprint. I like to give everybody the blueprint because this is how simple life is. Watch this. It's only three things. So if you don't remember nothing else from Mr. Hope, if you don't go to my podcast and listen to me, Mr. Hope Motivates, if you don't go to my YouTube and listen to me, if you don't go get my book, Answer to Butterflies, listen, I want you guys to remember this one thing. Life is three things. It's your look, it's your sound, and it's your vibe. If your look and your sound and your vibe is not in tune or in alignment with the said hope and dream, you can forget it. See, a lot of us already got, you know, we got the tenacity, we got the burn desire, the foresight, we got all the chemicals and the ingredients, but our look and our sound is that of lack and complaint and push people away. And uh, when your look, your sound, and your vibe got to be of that of optimism, of I got this, that when you come around me that you feel uplifted, that you're ready to go, that when you come around me you feel recharged, not that you feel pushed away or you feel like you that your engine has been sucked away. You have to keep your look 
your sound and your vibe in tune with the said goal and dream and only then are you going to be able to produce the said reality at the capacity that is deserving of for you so once again our look our sound and our vibe has to be in order in order for us to actually get to where it is that we want to go that's not going to allow us to burn out that's not going to allow us to not to have the success that we want us to have and then we don't get anywhere at all so the first place i'm going to take you guys to is how do we get to this mindset of being able to not only attract all that we want but actually to be able to truly have what we desire and it's first creating a burn desire Oh, you gotta know that you know that you know that you know that you know. What I'm saying is you gotta know that you all that and the bag of shit, the soul on the side, the meal to go, leftovers for tomorrow's lunch. Listen, you are all that. And it's only to that you know that you are deserving and worthy of your said hopes and dreams will you be able to produce that reality. Once again, if you don't not even believe from the beginning that you're deserving, that you're worthy. I'm going to tell you that you're deserving and worthy of all that you're hoping and dreaming for. And it's that belief that begins to ignite a flyer. It ignites a flame. Ooh, it's getting hot in here already. I'm telling y'all, that begins to ignite a flame. It begins to ignite a fire. It begins to ignite a desire. A burning desire that says, listen, I got to attain this reality. I have to get to this success level. I have to have these things about my life. These things have to be about me. That burning desire begins to engulf everything in your life. See, when you have that burning desire, all your conversations, everything that you do, everything that you touch begins to take on where it is you're trying to go. But see, if you don't believe that you're deserving or worthy of having all your success, if you don't believe that you're deserving and worthy to have uh, all this wealth if you don't believe that you're deserving and uh, worthy to have all this health about your body then guess what you're always going to be at a lacking derivative of what it is you're trying to create what I'm saying is that you have created the exact reality that you desire Wow that's a hard pill to swallow I know I know it is it's a hard pill to swallow for me to tell you that your reality today is exactly what you desire and while some of us say, Mr. Hope, I don't desire some of the things that are in my life, I dare you to take on the mindset that everything that is in your life today has happened because of you and watch the release and the control that you actually re-gift yourself. See, there's plenty of things that we can point the finger at and say, I was here because of this, that this happened to me. Those things may be true. But when you take on the reality and say that I am here today by all the habits and how I have chosen to move, then what you do is you re-gift yourself the control of tomorrow. See, a lot of us, we want to go back and shift and change the things that have already happened. We can't relive the past or undo everything. Some of that energy has to and needs to be applied for where it is that we're going. Only then can we stop ourselves from continually being within the derivative or the said uh, um, uh, um, a, um, excuse me, enabling factors that have led to those things that have created those realities. You have to begin to act on where it is you're going. Only then do we begin to allow ourselves to have those things. So what I'm saying is that when you're not believing that you're deserving or worthy of what it is you have created of whatever, that means you have given yourself an image of what you're acceptable of and this is your current reality. So I'm daring you guys to begin right now to believe that you are deserving and worthy of whatever it is you're hoping and dreaming for. That you're deserving of that overflow of health of wealth, of those relationships, of that new job, those cars, those houses, the family. You're deserving of all those things. You are and you're mandated to have it as well. But you're not mandated to have it until you have consistency. And then that creates that burning desire. Because everything that's around us begins to be engulfed by these things. But see, burning desire only can do so much if we don't have foresight and clarity. See, foresight is exactly where I'm going. See, when I have foresight and I know it is where I'm going, then I now allow the universe and everything to come around me to begin to attract all that I need. See, a lot of us are operating life with a blindfold on. We just got in the car, put a blindfold on, and just start driving. We're hitting all types of walls, trees, and dogs, all types of things. But listen, 
It's not until you take the blindfold off and set a destination that you enable yourself to actually begin to have what you're hoping and dreaming for at that capacity and so much faster. So you are limiting yourself because you have limited the details. You have limited yourself because you have limited the details. Right now, we're going to start right now. Right now. We're going to start right this second. In 90 seconds, that's all I'm giving you. In 90 seconds, I want you to write down exactly who you are in the next 10 years. I want to know exactly who you are in the next 10 years. So, you just had your 90 seconds, and I'm going to let you guys know right now. I'm not even going to hold you up. Most of you guys did it completely wrong. You know why? It's because I know that you did not define your day, your week, and your month. See, when I had you write down exactly who you were in the next 10 years, I needed to know what you were wearing from your head to your toe, what type of cars you were driving, who you was with, what you were doing, because it's not until we can define that successful day do we actually enable ourselves to even be anywhere close to having it. See, when you're able to say that in the next 10 years, I'm doing X, I'm doing Y, I'm doing Z, you enable all the resources to begin to flow to you. See, right now, a lot of us say, hey, I want to be a doctor, but no. You don't want to be a doctor. You want to be a veterinarian that cures a certain disease within a certain animal. So what that then does allow you to do, instead of saying I'm being a doctor, there's so many places where you can go get a medical degree from, right? But when you say I want to be a veterinarian, now that resource, that person can come to you. This internship, that apprenticeship. See, now things begin to open themselves up to you. And that's the foresight. So when we create the details, when we begin to actually write out exactly what it is we want to do and how or what we want to have, see, I can tell you guys right now, in the next 10 years, exactly what I'm wearing, what I'm doing from my head to my toe, where who I'm visiting, why I'm doing these things, because that is going to then allow for everything to backtrack itself to begin to create the um, attraction of the things I need in today's reality for me to get there. So that's all the people, that's all the resources that I need in between, and that's clarity. So first comes foresight, and then clarity. See, clarity presets the law of attraction. Once again, clarity presets the law of attraction. So, with the burning desire, with my foresight of where I'm going, then my clarity clears up all the mess. My clarity gives me all the information, all the network, all the resources in between for me to get to say it go. But see, I got to have that desire that says I get up every day and want nothing. Nothing to stop me from doing what I need to do in the consistency of my day-to-day -day work, my weekly work, my monthly work. See, I got success habits. See, I'm measuring myself. I'm going back every week and saying, okay, that habit didn't work. Okay, that habit produced this. When I woke up at this time, when I work out at this time, these things are in order. See, I'm keeping a success track of myself to say, hey, when I do these things in consistency, I'm going to have this reality. So burn desire, foresight, and clarity. 
it's the pre preliminary ingredients for us to have the overflow and the abundance that we desire for our lives. And not even desire. Remember, you're mandated to have this. You're supposed to be great. You're supposed to be well off. You're supposed to be healthy mentally, physically, and financially. But it's in your belief of how deserving you are and how worthy you are that we have that desire that says, hey, the way I walk, the way I talk, the actions that I take each and every day is rooted in where I'm going. And I'm not going to be stagnant on where I was or where I'm at today. Then comes the foresight that says, hey, that's where I'm going. And all the clarity in between gives me the details I create. It allows me to walk with confidence and receive all the things I need for my current reality today. See, a lot of us have not maximized the seasons we are in today and therefore we cannot maximize tomorrow's season see it's called law of rhythm see we have you know summer spring winter fall see that's how life is as well we have all these seasons that we endure but see when we don't maximize our current realities you limit who you can go and be tomorrow see if i leave anything in the tank over here i'm taking something from the tank over there see if i leave a half tank over here i only got a half tank for my tomorrow if i leave a half tank for tomorrow i only got a quarter tank for the next day if i leave like See, what I'm saying, if we don't maximize where we are today, how can we truly maximize and become all that we're supposed to be in our tomorrow? We have to maximize our current realities and the consistencies of our today. Being, have no success tra uh, trackers, making sure that we're being consistent on our daily, our weekly, and our monthly. Then are we able to produce the overflow and abundance that we are truly and mandated to have. But I want to give you guys some danger points. Danger points in all of this, as this is only the beginning ingredients, is being contentment and complacency. See, uh, even Les Brown said that our greatest problem isn't that we set goals too high. It's that we set goals too low and we smack them. We get them. And what happens is that all the endorphins and uh, dopamine begins to step in and we feel good. So why dare I go and try to do anything higher than what I have already created? And that's what we have to do. So what I'm saying is that we have to set higher goals. And see, a lot of us are scared of setting higher goals because we think we're going to fall lower. No, what actually happens is that the higher I set my goals, that means my lows have to also increase. See, for a bad day for a Warren Buffett or a Tyler Perry, they might not be able to have the meals that they want to have that day, but a bad day for me means I might not eat for three days see my lows are low but see when I maximize my highs I also maximize my lows but when I maximize my lows I also increase my highs so listen even my bad day last year I couldn't drive somewhere I had to take the bus but a bad day today I might not be able to get some gas because I got a car now so we're talking about is maximizing our highs in order for us to increase our lows see life is nothing but a marathon we have to be uh, find our contentment and our complacency in our actions and not contentment and complacency in and okay with low goals so I dare you to set your goals higher I dare you to soar higher and watch how you begin to enable yourself for all the old phone abundance remember whatever goal you hit you're gonna smack it so why not hit that goal and set it higher because even if you fall in between you have set your lows that much higher so we're gonna talk about not being contentment and complacent and happening on purpose each and every day we have one thing to do that's to happen on purpose life happens because we don't happen Life can only happen when we don't happen. Shout out to Grant Cardone. Life can only happen when we don't happen. So when we take on the responsibility about my life and my reality is exactly about how I chose to happen, man, it's a hard pill to swallow it is. But it's also a pill that's going to give you all the release and re-gift you all the control you're looking for. And guess what? It kind of says that you are more in control and you are more uh, in position to have what you want to have than what you think. Law of polarity says that even when everything is going wrong, even right now when everything is said to go wrong, you are positioned to actually win. That means with everything that's going on right now, your life, you are already actually in a position to win. Law of polarity says there's a left, there's a right. So right now, when all things are going wrong, that means all things have to also be in a position for me to go right. So I dare you to tap in and happen on purpose. Life is just that simple. But I want to give you guys one other thing. Do you know how gold is made? So, a lot of people don't know how gold is made. They think that, you know, you get to go to the jewelry store and you just get gold, right? Gold has a process. See, the gold maker takes the gold, right? And he puts it uh, in the shop, right? And so then you just go buy it. No. He takes the gold, he puts it in the inferno, and what happens when he comes out the inferno, all the infirmities in the gold means all the things inside the gold that's not actually gold, they rise to the, hot, or at the top, excuse me, to the top. 
right? Because it's so hot in there, right? The fire is so hot and it pushes these infirmities to the top. So everything that's not gold is sitting on top, right? Then the maker takes it out the fire and he slices the top off, right? So now you got your gold, right? You can go get your chain now. No. He takes the gold and puts it back in the fire, right? And even more infirmities rise to the top. And he slices up the top of the gold again, right? And he puts the gold back in the fire. And he continues the same cycle of putting the gold back into the fire until he takes the gold out and can see his reflection in it. That fire is your burning desire. That fire is your said dreams and goals. Each and every day, you got to put yourself in that fire. You got to put yourself in that fire each and every day and say, until I see the reflection of where it is I want to go, until I see the reflection of who I want to be, until I can see the reflection of all the health, wealth, and freedom that's mandated for my life, I'm going to keep putting myself in that fire. I'm going to keep reading. I'm going to keep studying. I'm going to keep working this nine to five until I can afford my hopes and dreams so they can take care of me. I'm going to keep doing whatever it takes. I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep keeping myself in alignment where it is that I'm going. I'm going to keep myself in that fire. So burn desire, foresight, clarity, not getting content or complacent. Happen on purpose. And remember, just like gold, put yourself in that fire. Allow your burn desire to engulf your conversations, to engulf everything in your life because everything you touch is going to create the reality that you're deserving and mandated to have. And you're only deserving by what you believe that you're actually deserving of actually having and worthy enough to have. So I want to leave you guys with uh, some more calls to action on today. Uh, as you guys can see, I got my Hope Dealer shirt on. So I have some apparel I want you guys to go grab. You guys can go to MrHopeMotivates.com. And when you get there, not only can you get some shirts, joggers, polos, and all other types of things like hoodies. You guys can also grab my book, Answer to Butterflies. So my book is called... Ants into butterflies becoming comfortable being uncomfortable you guys can go to amazon.com and grab that as well when you go to my website mrhopemotivates.com along with getting the book and the apparel you guys can also go in there and get some mr hope tools so i have some things on there for you guys to actually go and get some mindset uh things for you guys to engulf yourself with also uh coming very soon we're going to be releasing the first mr hopes master class so be on the lookout for that mr hopes master class it's going to be rooted in some of the things we talked about today and truly creating that successful self so i gave you guys only a little bit of a treat so that's just the beginning part that will be like week one um of what our class is going to actually focus on finding our successful selves so i gave you guys our first like basically like ingredients on how you can begin to preset your life and mindset for where it is you're trying to go so also i want you guys to also be in tune uh with also making sure that you guys um go and listen to my podcast as well so you guys can listen to me at mr hope motivates on uh apple music soundcloud uh google play you guys can find me anywhere on there and also just like you guys are seeing me now go ahead and check out youtube as well mr hope motivation i got some gems on there for you guys to have on there as well so if you guys enjoyed anything on today listen i want you guys to invite me out to your seminars to your schools listen we have some training some mindsets that we can engulf and get this encompass onto our youth as well as i want you guys to invite me to your company spaces um i have some um building tools for us to get into a mindset so we can be in alignment as a group as well so any way that we can fit let's collaborate let's work together let's continue to connect and i want you guys to remember those things again your burning desire your foresight clarity happening on purpose not getting consistent um excuse me not being contentment or complacent and then doing what being consistent each and every day find those habits that are in alignment with where this we're going and then make sure we keep a track of those things too so we know if those things are truly working for our good or it's keeping us stagnant so continue having a hope-filled day remember happen on purpose and let's get it y'all hope